Hey guys, it's Jodie from Rockstar. We're down at the Bull and Mouth tonight and we're actually checking out what people think the metal sign means. So do you know what the metal horns are? The metal, sorry? I've got no idea. Oh. I thought it was that, yeah? Is that right? Yeah. No. No, I'm not no. familiar. No, nah, not at all. Oh, unless you mean like that. Yeah, I'm not too sure, uh, to be honest. Okay, that's the metal horn. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. So if it's this, am I too close or not? No, oh, yeah, I, I see people all the time. I didn't know they were actually called metal horns, but yeah. What do you think metal horns mean? I have a theory. It's only a theory, though. Um, it's just like a symbol for, I guess, in, yeah, rock culture. Old metal, and maybe people like throw it up, just ripping it off the same way people throw up that one and they don't surf, if you know what I mean. To me, it's a symbol of, you know, uh, a peace sign, a, a representation of, you know, this is who we are and what we are. Don't know how connected this to satanic rituals, but we're not going to go into that. I've got a mate that does it on Facebook all the time. Oh. He does the emoticon. If it represents the heavy culture of music as such, well, it's a, just to let people know that where you stand, I suppose, at the end of the day. Well, uh, I genuinely thought it was actually started by Ozzy Osbourne and old English British rock. Never knew the meanings, but I know the meanings of two fingers in another way, but <laughs> nothing to do with metal horns. <laughs> Have you heard of a band called Kiss? Yes. Yes. Yes? Yep. yep. Gene Simmons, yep. 2017, Gene Simmons tried to patent the metal horns. The whole symbol? So whether you can paint it or not, I don't know. You no. try patent sign language, good luck with that, let me know how it goes. I don't think you should be able to get a royalty on actually, I don't think it's, that's just standard fare. It's like me flipping someone the bird and I get a patent on it. I think that no one should own it at the end of the day. Interesting, because now popular culture, like they, you, you see Justin Bieber doing this and you see it at Britney Spears concerts. Yeah, it is, it is everywhere. Yeah. Really? Really? They what? do that at Bieber? Yeah. Fucking hell. How do you think that actually works into the culture of music, using it in that sort of context? Do I, you... I think they've all just probably had too many drugs and they're trying to do this one <laughs> instead. <laughs> I think what should be allowed to happen is when Bieber does that, Ozzy Osbourne rugby tackles him to the ground. Seriously, who the fuck would go to Britney Spears concert? <laughs> 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 Ozzy Osbourne gets to go on tour with him and then just in the third set just rugby like, tackle the shit out of this bloke. Every culture or person embraces a difference so. With an image it's what you make of it. That, that, and you got that, and you got that. Yeah now I think it's yeah, a lot more acceptable. It's just very similar to religion. Oh, I'm not going there. Yeah don't. Give us your best metal horn. Is that, that, the, that the way it's done? With some arthritic fingers? <laughs> Right, rock and roll. That's what it's all about. Enjoy it. <laughs>